The Search by Sebastian Rees Wall. Whilst out walking through his local woods, Mr. Snowy bumped into a robot. He greeted the robot with a chirpy, Hello! But the robot automatically replied, Goodbye. Mr. Snowy was confused. He asked the robot, What's wrong? Why are you answering hello with goodbye? The robot introduced himself as Robotin and explained to Mr. Snowy how his batteries were losing energy and were causing him to make mistakes. Mr. Snowy kindly offered to help Robotin in his search for his new batteries. Robotin explained to Mr. Snowy that the batteries he needed were available at a far away planet. He invited Mr. Snowy to join him in his space rocket to fly into space to find the faraway planet beyond galaxies. The rocket lifted off with a red hot flame that shot the spacecraft deep into space. They passed many shooting stars and gold covered planets. From the space rocket's cockpit, Robotum called, We're here! as he lowered the rocket down into a crater on the planet, planet's surface. They both put on their astronaut helmets before leaping out to explore the planet. Robotum led the way, knowing where to find the new batteries he needed. As they turned a corner, they passed an empty cave. The planet was silent. Suddenly, Robotum was hit by an electric force field freezing him into an electric shock. Mr Snowy called out for the creature who was firing the electricity at his friend to stop. The creature lowered his electric force field to release Robotum. Mr Snowy was surprised to see that Robotum was bouncing around with a wide smile, thanking the creature for recharging his batteries. Robotum and Mr Snowy asked the creature why he had wanted to harm them. The creature, who introduced himself as Banana Forbits, explained that he was trying to protect the last remaining bananas on the planet, as without them, he could not survive. Robotum and Mr Snowy invited Banana Forbits to return to their home planet with them, where lots and lots of bananas grow. Enough for everyone, they explained. All three leapt into space and floated back home. Banana Forbits couldn't believe his eyes when they reached the planet with forests full of trees, with beautiful ripe yellow bananas ready to eat hanging from the branches. They sat under the shade of the trees and ate a banana tea, sharing their tales of outer space. <laughs>